Okay, everybody, welcome to another great video tutorial by yours truly, Glenn Kelly, broker, owner of Glenn Kelly Real Estate, aka Glenn Kelly Realtors. Now, I had a great conversation with someone who's in real estate school, and uh, they pulled it up to me and they were like, hey, you know what? Um, such and such broker, XYZ Realty, um, if they exist, this isn't meant toward them, but XYZ Realty, uh, you know, so offering 70% commission cut to all new agents and whatnot. Let's just set the record straight so that way every single person understands how this business works, how every single brokerage company works, and how my brokerage company works, okay? So that way everyone at the end of this very short video tutorial knows the difference and knows what they're getting into. Let's take a look at my structure, okay? If we take a look at my structure, we have a hundred thousand contract price, okay? And let's say it's a six percent listing, three in, three out. Let's say, get even more intricate, it's three percent minus a hundred or three percent plus a hundred. Whatever that is, that's between broker to broker, it has nothing to do with you as an agent, okay? So take a look at this. We're down to, let's say it was our listing, it was three, it was a three thousand dollar commission plus a hundred. Your plus 100, you have collected a check at the closing table for $3,100. $100 comes off, you're left with $3,000. Okay? At a 50% real cut, okay? 50% real cut with no fees. And we're going to get into that. That means that your check is cut at $1,500. Okay? So, that your actual payout, no fees, no E&O fee, for you that are, anyone that's listening that's new, that's errors in omission insurance, it ain't cheap, let me tell you. Um, no office override fee, no technology fee, no manager fee, mentor fee, franchise fee, desk fee, every other company has more fees than you know what to do with. So, when you sit down and you wanna face the real world, this is where it's this is it, this is where it's at. Okay? You bought in 3000 you took home 1500 1099 income commission. Okay? No fees, no BS, no drop. Now let's take a look at everybody else. Everybody else besides one big boy on the block who charges you a desk fee of almost two thousand dollars a month or twenty five hundred or three thousand depending on that big boy, okay? Now, if you want to go work with them and you're new, you're nuts. It's going to cost you big bucks. If it costs you $2,000 a month, that's $24,000 a year. Yeah, you get to keep 95% of your commission. But if you don't sell anything, you just lost $24,000 in that year. Does it make sense? No. So, take a look. Same house, $100,000. Let's say you're working with the yellow sign. Or let's say you're working with the big, bad, green and blue sign. No matter who you're working with or the yellow and white sign, whoever you're working with, look at the numbers. The numbers speak volumes, okay? Doctorate, PhD, finance and marketing. Take a look, learn from yours truly. Take a look here, $100,000, $3,000. Let's say they listed. They get 100, that broker's taking on 100, they're getting $3,000 commission, okay? $3,000 commission, let's say they gave you a 70% cut. You're getting 70%, you're sitting there in school right now, you're like, I'm getting out of here, and I just landed me a 70% cut job. I, I am ready to rock and roll with every other company out there with a 70% cut. Well, 70% of nothing is zero. Okay? Now, let's say, look at that, $3,000 times 70% is $2,100. You really think you're going to check, you're going to get a check for $2,100? I implore you to go there and work there. And call me if I'm wrong. Call me, text me if I'm wrong, email me. Tell me if you get that check for $2,100 because you're not going to get it. It's 70% cut on paper and then there's ridiculous fees galore. Ridiculous. You did you still to 
you not pay out your E&O insurance. Some companies will make you pay for the year, some will make you pay per, por per portion of per transaction. It could be as low as $50, it could be up to $300 per transaction depending on the company we're talking about. Okay? You didn't, you didn't pay your office override fee. Could be up to and including and even over 10%. You didn't pay the tech or computer fee. Could be 5 to 10%. You didn't pay the manager override fee, which could be 10%. If you had a mentor fee, my God, the, the big bad yellow company has a mentor fee. You're taking this amount and you're probably walking away, and with sarcasm, with $3. But if you're paying a mentor fee, you're paying 25 to 50% of that cut to a mentor, okay? When here, it's free. You get it for free. You don't pay a mentor. You get it for free. You get training for free. Okay? Now, mentor fee. Then you need to pay a franchise fee. Don't think you're getting away without paying that, which is 5 to 10%. And then you got a desk fee. Some companies, even the big bad one that charges you a desk fee and will give you 90, 95, 99% of your commission, whatever crazy cockeyed story they come up with that they're going to give you. There's other companies that still you'll pay all these other fees. You're not that comp the, the, the big one, but you're still going to pay a desk fee. You're going to pay a portion. You could be up to $2,500 a month. Now, when you take a look at this, your 70% cut got dwindled down to almost nothing. Almost nothing. Now let's say that company doesn't charge you a desk fee, they don't charge you a mentorship fee, and your computer and tech fee is down, but you still gotta pay your E&O insurance. Okay? Here it's free. I pay it for you. Over here, you still gotta pay for it, and uh, which is unheard of for anyone else to pay for it, by the way. And then you come over here, and let's say you got a couple of the other fees. This $2,100 in a blink of an eye, in a blink of an eye becomes less than 1500 Every day of the week, every single closing. Think I'm kidding? Go sign up, give me a call when you get your check. Now, let's say, for argument's sake, that you still wound up with 1500 okay? So you equaled what I would pay. You bought at $1,500, same cut, 50% real world here at Glen Kelly Real Estate, 70% cut, and you still wind up with the same number, 1500 You still did not even put into account advertising. Who pays it? Who's paying Zillow? I guarantee you it's not your broker for you. Who's paying Trulia? It's not your broker for you. Who's paying Realtor.com for you? Believe me when I tell you, it's not your broker. So now take your 1500 even though it'll probably be a lot less on this side, and a 70% cut. Take your $1,500 and now reinvest it back in yourself. Make it zero. Call up Zillow and try to get a couple zip codes. You'll be blown away when you hear how much money it cost. Here, I pay it. Glen Kelly Real Estate pays it for free. And leads go on rotation to every single agent. Truly, same scenario. Go call them up. Call them. You think any of this is a joke? Call Zillow and say, how much are 10 zip codes? You'll be blown away at the price per month. This $1,500 that you just made here will go just like that. Over here, real world, you still got $1,500. You haven't spent a dime on Zillow, a dime on Trulia, and a dime on Realtor.com, which are the three big boys, let alone any other program that you could affiliate yourself with. You haven't done anything. You still walked away with $1,500. Over here, you better believe, ask the question to your broker who's about to hire you. Who pays Zillow? Trulia and Railer.com. Mark my words, it's not them for you. They may market on there, but they ain't marketing you on there. Guaranteed. And you ain't getting free leads either. Guaranteed. 
So this basically sums up the real world in a very short, brief tutorial. If you're new and you're thinking about a career in real estate, and you think that a 70% cut is going to make uh, you money in this business, and if you think that this schedule is going to be appropriate for you, well, leave me when I tell you, ask all the individual teachers at schools all over New Jersey who highly recommend Glenn Kelly. I handpick. I handpick agents because I want agents that are smart. I want agents that when they come sit at my company know the real world and what makes sense. Okay? I'd rather see you have $1,500 in your pocket and now you can take that and have a great time, feed the family, pay the mortgage, whatever you got to do. Over here, this is fantasy land. Every single bit of it is fantasy land. It's craziness. And that's why when I started my company, we did things different. And that's why we have people from blue and green signs, yellow signs, uh, red and white signs, you name it, they're all coming here. Why? Because it makes sense. So, wrapping up this video, if you're sitting in school now or you're out in the real world now, and let's say you're two years, three years into the business and you're wondering, gee, I just can't figure out how I'm not making money. I sold four houses, three houses, but I'm still not making money. What's going on? What's going on is you decided to enter the TV land fantasy. Fantasy land TV land over here. You should have walked yourself into the real world, which is hosted, produced, and presented by yours truly, Glenn Kelly Real Estate. Think. Think about what you want out of this business. And then when you're ready to make the decision, if you think that this is right for you, believe me when I tell you, I don't want you. If you think that this makes sense, and you literally keep money and make money, then I want you. Give me a call, we'll sit down, we'll talk about making you a superstar in real estate. Okay? So hopefully that debunks all these myths about uh, uh, what companies are offering and this, that, and the other thing. Be smart. When you go on an interview with a company, ask them who's paying Zillow, truly or realtor.com, who's paying the other miscellaneous fees, and are there all these other extremist fees here? How much are they? Tell them to put $100,000 on the paper and see what your actual check will be. You will be astounded. Okay? So, you have to ask yourself, what else does my broker do for me? Well, number one, you already know that we pay Zillow, Truly, and Realtor.com. Your broker doesn't. Not for you, he doesn't. For him, he might, or her, he might, but not for you. Then we have to look on the bigger picture. What does your company do for you? Ask the yellow signs, the green and blue signs. Ask them all. When was the last time you brought in international superstar Hoobastank, the band, to perform on the, on the largest holiday of the year, July 4th. What are they going to tell you? They didn't do it. Why? They can't afford it. They can't afford to bring in Hoobastank at 30K and have them come in there and do a massive show for a charity event. It doesn't happen anywhere else. Ask them when the last time they had iconic figures like NFL superstars, the Million Dollar Man, Mick Foley, icons in our business, icons in the business of promotion, okay? That's what we're in. When we're promoting listings, when we're getting out there and we're doing sales and we want to promote even those sales, we are promoters, and that's what I do best. Ask your next company. When was the last time they had a charity event that drew thousands of people and cost them out of pocket $30,000? You know what they'll look at you? They'll look at you and tell you you're insane. It doesn't happen. It only happens here. Just like on June 13, 2015, live at the Beachcomber, one of the greatest venues we've ever partaken in a charity event in. It's going to be spectacular. What does it cost? 
cost over $30,000 to put an event like that together. Who puts it together? Yours truly. Why? It is an amazing charity event. The company gets out and brands. It brands itself with great charitable organizations like Eternal Tranquility, Dreams Come True, Granting Wishes and whatnot. Gets the name out there, we're doing a great thing. It's a double focus, okay? We need people to understand. You have to understand what your broker is going to do and what he's not. Because if he's not giving you free leads and he's charging you all these fees and he's not at every single festival known the man and he's done, and he's not branding and localizing and making you a star. And he's not on social media making you a star. And he's not teaching or she's not teaching you how to do real estate. What do you come up with? You come up short. You come up that you're in the business for two to three years in fantasy land and you decide to come over into my world into reality and that my friends is where one day every top producer in the world every top producer that's thinking to themselves i want to do real estate in new york pennsylvania florida new jersey they're going to think glenn kelly real estate and they're going to come to the real world no matter where you practice real estate that's where you're going to come